Right now, plans are being made to keep your kids safe in school. We have crews covering school board meetings across Tampa Bay in Pinellas, Polk, Manatee, and Citrus Counties. They are getting answers for you. Answers about school resource officers, how they're going to pay for them, or whether to arm school personnel. Let's begin in Polk County where the sheriff and superintendent, they do not see eye to eye on school security. The school board meeting is going on right now and 10 News reporter Grady Tremble is live in Bartow. And Grady, Sheriff Judd spoke about this not too long ago. He did just this afternoon and he was joined by Andrew Pollock, whose daughter Meadow unfortunately died in the Parkland shooting. As you mentioned, the sheriff and the superintendent agree we need to beef up school security, but they don't agree on how to do that. The sheriff proposes arming some school staff and training them, even teachers in some cases. He started a program in Polk last year called the Sentinel Program that our state lawmakers modeled their guardian program on. The superintendent, on the other hand, wants more SROs. To have an SRO in every school, though, she estimates it would cost $5 million. Judd's estimate for SROs is even higher than that. The state is only giving the district $3.1 million for them, so either way, not nearly enough. Ultimately, though, that decision on what to do is going to be up to the school board. Here's the sheriff's appeal to them this afternoon. It means you can select, evaluate, drug test, and psychologically test and train 32 guardians for the cost of one school resource officer. That coach, if he was in that, he definitely would have saved all six, and, and one would have been my daughter. On the that was Pollock telling his heart-wrenching story to the school board this afternoon. I spoke with him after that about why he's going all the way to Polk County from South Florida to try to beef up school security and arm school staff. I also tried to speak with the superintendent, but she wouldn't answer any of my questions. We do know, though, that after the sheriff spoke, two school board members openly opposed any plan like the Guardian program or the Sentinel program to arm school staff. Live in Polk County, Grady Trimble. 10 News.